so let's start formally the director's talk 2 so director's talk 1 is also live on the face uh, youtube channel now so whomsoever whoever wants to watch that they can watch it at their own length at their own free time so today we'll be starting with the directors who have not spoken yesterday so right now Pratya is gone and I cannot see uh, other three people's faces. Now I can see Sumdima. So Sumdima, <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now okay. So see the process all, what we followed was that you have to introduce yourself, you have to introduce your film, why you chose to participate in this film, why you chose to pick up that particular topic, what gave you the impulse to make that film and all things about the film that is relevant and then people can ask you questions and share their feedback all right so over to some demand yeah sorry this uh yeah hi yeah so all good yeah. i'm visible and i can be heard mm -hmm. So hi everyone, I'm, I'm born in Nepal and based in Mumbai currently and my film is This Too Shall Pass, I think the only video art available in the festival. So uh, basically I am a filmmaker myself, uh, been assistant directing for a long time but there was a long gap in between uh, due to some technical reasons and in the lockdown I picked up filmmaking again. So it was not planned actually. I've been painting for the last five years. Uh, you can say that art rescued me because back five years back I was down in the dumps. You can call it depression or whatever. But it was the darkest phase of my life and uh, it was just one fine day. There were crayons lying around in my house and I just picked it up and I started painting. So it's been five years that I painted. Uh, so this time when uh, Corona happened, it was not, I was low in spirits, but I could see everyone around me very, very low and demotivated and uh, very pessimistic in spirit. So I thought art has rescued me. So why not use the same tool of art to rescue everybody? So my video, as you can see, it's it's not, uh, I, it's my frame of mind. I, I don't delve into the everyday matters, but I, I actually go to the psychological and the philosophical part of it. So that is why I chose the poem by Helen Steiner Rice, This Too Shall Pass. And I correlated that with uh, my drawings. I did the sketches first. Uh, whatever I was going through, I believe uh, an artist uh, has the greatest impulse to express. If you just express, that's what you do, right? What you have in your head, you just translate it onto the canvas or onto the film. And that's what you can do. Rest, what happens to the film or what happens to your paintings is when it reaches people. So I thought, uh, I don't know, uh, this board is different, but I'm just going to put together my paintings and I'm going to put together the poem and I'm going to express whatever is going through uh, everyone within the world and within, the my within myself with a message that we need not fear Corona. Uh, just like nature has all sides to it, the good and the bad, Corona is also one of it. And this too shall pass, you know. So it's just a simple message. Let's be optimistic. Corona ki aise ki te aise. Yeah. I can't hear you, Sharp. So what, okay, I had unmuted myself. So whenever okay, somebody yeah. is not speaking, I would suggest that everybody keep their mics muted. So once the mic is muted, then there is not much of noise. Otherwise, it's creating a lot of noise, background noise. I welcome uh, Tina and Sagar also. Uh, they joined. Yeah, okay. And uh, so it's a very good inspiration. Hi, Shri. Uh, so it's a very good inspiration what Shumdima told just about her film. And uh, apparently her film is liked very much by the juries also because you have used a lot of paintings and uh, so in fact we had a separate category also for you that was the video art. So yeah. Yeah. 
exactly so your film is into that category video art thank you so much and um, and, and definitely uh, this was not actually planned in any way actually i i started making this video films because that film making ka kida jo andar hai na wo chhut nahi raha tha so i thought what the hell i'm not going to wait for the world i'm not going to wait for the producer to approach me and ye wo phalana dhimkana so i thought let me just pick up my smartphone i have my painting so let's do it you know yes and here we are yeah. It definitely that's see because see creative process is just like it has to flow naturally there should not be yes. any blockages there should not be any limitations to it and this is the toughest time and during the toughest time we have to force ourselves to open different outlets that is why was the idea of creating this quarantine international film festival also to create a platform where people can utilize their time of boredom their time of depression their time of loneliness their time of isolation their time of closure so their time of where they are confined to one place they are confined to like for example tina's film tina's film is just kind of a one shot film like it is shot in one location in a particular angle only so we do not see changes of yeah. many angles but it's a beautiful film it gives a beautiful message so every film of yours like whoever like you all of you film says something and it chooses different different mediums so i really like that and uh, i make it open to the house if anybody wants to comment on sumpima's film or ask her any question you can do that right now Ah, uh, Sagar. Uh, okay, you have to unmute. Okay, I've unmuted you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Sir. Actually, I wanted to ask about the last print that uh, that leaf that leaf was in the water and the sunset. You made that. Yeah. Yeah. That, actually, the thumbnail. That was the thumbnail of your video. Yes. Sorry, what was the question? We lost your audio. Question you. was actually my question is the thumbnail, the painting, which was on your thumbnail, right? The sunset and the leaf, yeah. like a boat. That was your concept. Yes, yes. All of the all of the artworks are mine. Everything is mine, from uh, the paintings to the concepts to sound to editing, whatever yeah. you call it. It's a one woman show. <laughs> yeah, nice. It was good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Any more questions, or suggestions, or feedback? Anybody? There is. Interested? There is actually a story behind that leaf. Can I share? Yeah. Sure. So yeah. So so see. Uh, I've realized in art, uh, whatever you don't plan actually is magical. So the leaf. Uh, I was down walking my dog, and I just happened to notice that leaf, that dry leaf, fallen on the ground, and I found it beautiful. Okay, so I just picked it up, and it's my habit that whatever I find nice, I just bring it on the whole garbage, and I sketch and I do my practices. So like that, I I brought that leaf over to my room, and my mom is a cleanliness freak. She cannot stand any garbage at all. So I had just gone inside to do something, and I come back, and I'm very excited to draw that leaf, right? So I'm I'm searching everywhere, and my mom is like, "What are you searching for?" So I said, "That leaf. I had got that leaf." I said, "Are you what cut your leaf? What do you mean by that?" <laughs> so that leaf had gone in the garbage and it then gone in the container i ran and i rescued that leaf out of it and now that leaf is in the thumbnail it's, it's in the film so 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 that's what it is you know like you just you just go with the flow and you never know how it's going to end up what you're going to do about it i think beauty and inspiration lies everywhere you just need to be alive yourself to tap into it all right yeah so definitely i mean everything that you create that is going to pay you at some point of time like any creativity or any outlet or anything that you come up with a genuine intensity or a genuine effort that never goes in vain that is what i have realized in life so that you found a way to put together and create a film out of it that was wonderful mm -hmm. yeah 
All right. All of us, all of us. I'm just so happy. Sorry, I'm just bubbling with energy because I'm blown away with the talent we have. Your so many different concepts. My God, I was like, my God, yeah, someone can think like that. Someone can do it like that, and that's true in such constraints. So, salam, hats off to everybody. Namaste to everybody. Right, everybody, yes, of course. All right. So with this, we move on to the next director, uh, Rajit. Would you like to go? Uh, your voice is not ad- oh, yeah okay oh, am i audible now yeah yeah you are yeah uh, uh, sorry i couldn't change my name it's mvpr right now but my name is prajit and i did the movie uh, called uh, a colored life and as sundima said it it was uh, like a restart actually uh, 10 years back i was in the movie industry i did one movie as an ad and i did make a short film at that time uh, the last short film was in uh, 2009 january and it's been 10 long years since i tried something and uh, as as a lazy person i i used to find uh, excuses that i have to hire the light unit to camera unit and all those things right now during the lockdown my my son is acted in that movie he is 3 and a half 3 and a half years away and his imaginations his, his plays and everything made me think that that kind of a subject and i take my mobile phone and restarted my my passion it's it's an attempt to regain the lost passion somewhere in the uh, life <laughs> the flowing of life so this lockdown made me uh, think about myself my passion and uh, and it's, it's 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 a kind of regain and uh, uh, coming to that movie it's actually uh, actually uh, seeing my son it's a kid how kids react to lo- lockdown and uh, i used to watch his watch him playing and all those things and he gave me that idea his place is uh, playing inside the walls of the my house it made me that idea and uh, just try it um, i don't know I, uh, at that point i i don't know, really don't know that uh, i i was making a short film i just shooting and uh, i have a script in my mind i tried to make him act and after some day some days i think i shot it 3 6 6 7 days and somewhere uh, in the in that time i i find out that yeah this is going to be a short film and again i edited it and, and my friend did the music all we three are the, <laughs> are the crew, cast and crew of that movie Now that's a very uh, nice way of putting it together and uh, in fact your film attracted us the most because it has a child in it and how you see the whole lockdown the whole quarantine thing in from a child's perspective i really loved even the dialogues for example when he says that okay to a toy that okay i'm not going to take you anywhere out now main tumhe kahin bahar leke nahi jaunga because he is suffering the same thing yeah yeah so it's a very nice way that you have mm-hmm. actually uh written the dialogues also like the actual feeling so and coming out coming uh, this comes out from a child's mouth definitely it has a great impact so mm-hmm. definitely yeah. anybody has any questions or any feedback yeah somebody ma'am uh Ajit I had a smile on my face right from the start of the film it was a beautiful heartwarming film yeah and, and oh audio is gone yeah, oh, it's not audible <laughs> sumri ma <laughs> there is no voice sumri ma Are you speaking in Sumri? क्या तुम Sumri में बोल रही हो? आवाज नहीं आ रही. No, no, still not coming. Ah, your is muted. Okay, now say. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So, so that was a my my thing that happened there. Okay.
something with your i think something with your microphone so try and uh, unplug your microphone and say directly into the uh, laptop or phone just try it that way also right now you you are seen muted did you mute your phone okay yeah, yeah. all right got it yeah yeah now okay this is the third time <laughs> but i'm still going to say it with the same same energy that i wanted to the first time your film is beautiful your film is so heartwarming the eyes of the kid the whole the whole film and i loved the wave sequence especially the way you've shot the film the way the the way the camera is down and the way your son is emoting the wave thing it just i miss to see the most you know in the lockdown and and with that shot with that frame and that experience and that imagination that you brought to life you took me right to the sea so i mean it's a beautiful beautiful film you have a magical son out there and have fun all right that was a very good feedback yeah thank you and uh, thank you especially he she said it three times <laughs> 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 thank you for that message uh, thank you <laughs> all right so okay shri wants to say something okay shri uh so prajit i did uh, connect and totally agree with uh, your point of the excuse thing so when the world was open and uh, we had so many options we did see it as a layers and excuse but this was really thought to do great works with uh, limited resources i also i totally agree with you as i felt the experience what you said thanks again for that anybody else would want to make a comment or feedback or we can move on to the next director Okay, should we move on to the next director? If nobody wants to, is somebody saying something? Okay, okay, never mind. So yeah, let's move on. Yeah, yeah, Tina. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, he has a natural actor there. Okay, <laughs> actor जो होता है वो perform करता है, but वो साढ़े तीन साल का जो बच्चा है. उसको कुछ परफॉर्म नहीं करना पड़ा उसके नेचुरल एक्सप्रेशन इतने अच्छे थे कि वो अपने आप पूरा फिल्म का काम आई जस्ट वांट टू सेव दैट ब्यूटीफुल ऑब्जर्वेशन बच्चे जो होते हैं actually actually that the, the second part where the second part of the movie when he started uh, creating his own world in the in the house that was actually uh, i i left it to him he he did it uh, his own way the dialogues and everything he was improvising himself and uh, it was not a written dialogue i asked him to say something and he did that <laughs> no that's commendable <laughs> all right okay so we move further with another film director tina okay your turn you start you start या सो सभी को पता है कि लॉकडाउन ने क्या सिचुएशन क्रिएट कर दी है बहुत सारी नेगेटिविटी ना सिर्फ घरों में पूरे देश में पूरे वर्ल्ड में सो सबसे पहले तो थैंक यू सो मच रोल एक्सप्लोर स्टूडियोज जिन्होंने मौका दिया मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा और मैं बेसिकली एक्टर हूँ मेरे हस्बैंड जो है वो भी एक्टर है तो हम दोनों के लिए ये टाइम निकालना एक तरीके से मुश्किल भी था और नहीं भी था क्योंकि हम फ्रीलांसर्स हैं तो घर में रहने की आदत है ऐसा नहीं कि आपको जॉब पर जाना है या कुछ बट इतना टाइम एक साथ रहना बहुत मुश्किल है एक तरीके से और सिचुएशन ऐसी है कि बहुत सारी नेगेटिविटी हर जगह से आ रही थी तो हम दोनों ने सोचा कि क्या किया जाए इस टाइम को कैसे आगे निकाला जाए या कहा हम इसमें चीजें ढूंढे जो हम पॉजिटिव रह पाए इस चीज के लिए तो आइडिया आया कि चलो कुछ बनाते हैं बिकॉज थिएटर बैकग्राउंड है तो काफी सारी चीजें प्ले से रिलेटेड भी की कविताएं वगैरह सब चीजें की बट ये कॉन्सेप्ट अच्छा लगा कि मोबाइल फोन से आप शूट करके और ये प्लेटफॉर्म मिला कि ऐसे प्लेटफॉर्म पे भेज सकते हैं तो कुछ कुछ चीजें दिमाग में थी ऑलरेडी तो ये जो कॉन्सेप्ट है वो मेरे हस्बैंड का ही था उनका नाम है बोलो दास 
तो उन्होंने क्योंकि मुझे सिचुएशन में हर महीने वो देखते हैं जो हमारी फिल्म का जो कॉन्सेप्ट है और ये पेन होना शायद जनरली लोगों को नहीं पता है और सब लोगों को होता भी नहीं है कुछ फीमेल्स हैं जिनको बहुत ज्यादा होता है कुछ होती है जिनको नहीं होता है तो ये जब चीजें दिमाग में आई तो उन्होंने कहा कि ये जो फील है तुम्हारा मतलब ये जो पेन है जो मैं फील कर पाता हूँ हम चाहते हैं कि सब लोगों तक पहुंचे ताकि इस चीज को क्योंकि काफी सारे लोग जनरली ले अरे पीरियड से तो है क्या है मतलब इतना भी क्या प्रॉब्लम है बट एक्चुअल नहीं पता होता है लोगों को कि वो क्या चीज झेल रही है लड़की उस वक्त तो उन्होंने कहा ये चीज अवेयरनेस के थ्रू भी मतलब लोगों के सामने ये चीज पहुंचनी चाहिए तो बस वहीं से ये चीज दिमाग में आई और हमने उसको किया शूट किया दोनों ने मिलके दोनों ही थे तो सारी चीजें साथ करके कंबाइन करके और फिर ये फिल्म बन गई इस तरह से so how was your experience like uh, while making the film kya pareshani the mujhe jeetna pada kya pareshani because i think this is your debut film ye tumhari pehli film hai right ye tumhari pehli film hai right right to uske bare mein ek ah pehla ye tha ki ha usme ye tha pehla ki kyunki is ye background raha hai to bahut sari cheeze mobile ke through shoot karna wo impact nahi de pata hai पहला तो वहां पर हम लोग फंसे कि बहुत अच्छा एक कैमरा होना जरूरी था लाइट्स का हम चाहते थे हम और कॉम्पैक्ट स्पेस चाहते थे क्योंकि अब रूम्स बड़े हैं अगर सेट होता तो हम उसमें दो दीवार लगा के उसको कॉम्पैक्ट बना सकते थे या कुछ तो लाइट की वजह से हम लोग बहुत फंसे क्योंकि अगर रात को शूट कर रहे हैं तो ग्रेन्स आ रहा है अगर लाइट कम कर दे रहे हैं तो फिर कुछ दिखाई नहीं दे रहा है तो टेक्निकल जो चीजें हैं उनमें हमको थोड़ा सा प्रॉब्लमेटिक चीजें फेस करनी पड़ी बाकी ये चीज का भी आइडिया नहीं था थोड़ा कि शूट करते दौरान फैन ऑफ करना हम लोग भूल गए कि डायलॉग्स के ऊपर जाएगा या नहीं जाएगा वो बाद में जब शॉट हुआ उसके बाद पता चला कि अरे ये तो सारी चीजें मिक्सअप हो गई फिर से उसको रीशूट किया फिर उसके में फैन का वो जो साउंड था वो अलग से डाला तो बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला एक्चुअली इस दौरान और सच बताऊं तो इसने हमको इतना एंगेज कर दिया कि बाहर की दुनिया में जो चीज हो रही है वो नेगेटिविटी हमारे ऊपर हावी नहीं हुई हम कुछ क्रिएटिव करने में लगे रहे इवन इसके जस्ट पहले हमने एक और फिल्म शॉर्ट फिल्म बनाई थी कंडीशन सप्लाई वो हम फेस्टिवल में नहीं भेज पाए हमको उसको रिलीज करना था तो वो बनाने के बाद ये जब आया तो बहुत आ, अच्छा लगा कि हमारा टाइम जो 21 दिन से भी बढ़ा फिर फिर बढ़ा बढ़ता चला गया तीन बार लॉकडाउन हो गया बट बहुत इजीली हम लोग उस चीज से बाहर निकल पाए मतलब उस जोन में नहीं गए नेगेटिव जोन में सो दैट्स अ वेरी गुड सेइंग क्योंकि ये फिल्म का प्लेटफॉर्म क्लियर करने का मकसद ही यही था कि भाई लोगों का ध्यान उन सब चीजों से हटा करके क्रिएटिव चीजों की तरफ डाल दो सीधे सीधे एग्जैक्टली मैंने भी ऐसे ही शुरू किया था लॉकडाउन जैसे शुरू हुआ शुरू के पांच दिन मैंने नेटफ्लिक्स एमेजोन प्राइम और उस पर सोलह सोलह घंटे लगाए सुबह से शाम तक सीरीज देख रहा हूँ ये देख रहा हूँ वो देख रहा हूँ फिर मैंने कहा कि नो आई कैन नॉट सस्टेन लाइक दैट ऐसे ज्यादा दिन तो नहीं चलेगा तो लेट्स कम अप विद एन आइडिया ये आइडिया आ गया काफी सारे मेरे अभी ये फिल्म देखने के बाद मतलब मेल पर्सन है जिनके मुझे मैसेजेस आ रहे हैं की सच में इतना ज्यादा होता है क्या 
तो तुम लोग काम कैसे करते हो कि सब लोग उसको नोटिस नहीं करते कि किसी चीज को मतलब पहुंच रहा है अभी तक नहीं पहुंच रहा है तो कई बार तो मेरे साथ ऐसा हुआ कि मैं शूट पे हूँ और या तो पेन किलर खाया या इंजेक्शन लिया देन मैंने शूट कंप्लीट किया तो जो फील मैं सोसाइटी में जो लड़कों को जो चीज पहुंचनी चाहिए मतलब वो मुझे ये मैसेजेस के थ्रू पता चल रहा है अभी कि सब बहुत सारे लोग शॉक गए शायद इस चीज से वो अवेयर ही नहीं है कि सच में ऐसा होता है क्या ये काफी सारे लोग मुझसे पूछ रहे हैं दैट्स अ वेरी गुड वे आल्सो ऑफ सेंसिटाइजिंग द इशू एंड आल्सो मेकिंग एन अवेयरनेस अबाउट इट फॉर एग्जांपल योर फिल्म एंड देन दैट फिल्म एंड अदर फिल्म अदर फिल्म मेड बाय मास काजमी दैट्स स्मोक चिकन ग्रेवी सो दैट इज आल्सो लाइक वी कैन सी टू पीपल दे आर स्टक इन अ सिचुएशन फॉर लाइक 80 90 डेज and then there is a domestic then violence, violence is happening violence and then the, and then the, the person who is suffering person who is he or she cannot go out of that place also. Also. so that also says so the that dilemma that of the person who suffer so it's a very so beautiful film that you have created these issues in your film thank you so much all right yeah so deep yeah so deep okay yeah so first of all so first of all so i have to share with you that husband who was so sensitive to your pain that is so beautiful so uh, god bless both of you and second of all i think you've done a very very bold subject you've taken in your hands because abhi tak bhi hamare samaj mein hamare desh mein नेपाल हो या इंडिया हो या एशिया हो वो वेर एवर हम लोग अभी भी झकते हैं यू नो टू से दैट आई आई हैव पीरियड्स लाइक आई हैव पेन एंड पीपल डोंट टेक अ सीरियसली देयर लाइक अरे महीने में आता है चला जाता है व्हाट एवर बट द पेन दैट यू हैव शोन माय गॉड इट वाज लाइक आई कुड फील इट यू नो यू वर लाइक एन अर्थ वॉर्म रिडिंग विद पेन आई वाज लाइक ओह माय गॉड आई नो एग्जैक्टली व्हाट यू आर गोइंग थ्रू सच अमेजिंग परफॉर्मेंस सो इट ऑलमोस्ट कन्विंस मी व्हाई यू एक्चुअली गोइंग थ्रू इट ओह व्हाट because it's brilliant from your tight scripts to your performance to and the camera angles that you use which are so like you know inside that roof and wo wahi hota hai you know that chhatpatat that unbearable pain and you are ridding so oh my god it was it was amazing amazing film thank you so the question arises here as part of an actor Tina as an actor so did you recreate the pain or you felt the pain yeah. like <laughs> actually ye itna experienced ho gaya hai na abhi mere liye har mahine aata hai so recreate hi hua wo aisa nahi tha ki mai periods pe thi tab humne shoot kiya all right, but all right. uh, actually wo is qadar matlab body mein bhi physical memory mein chala gaya hai mm-hmm. ki mm-hmm. wo aa jata hai matlab usko mai recreate kar sakti all right that's all Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So, any, any more? Uh, okay. Rajit wants to say something. Rajit wants to say something. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, the subject was uh, nice. The chosen subject was nice because it's a women director movie, men for men. Actually, men has to watch this kind of movie. they they want to know about the emotional uh, thing about the woman and uh, nice to select such kind of a subject and also you perform well thank you so much but iska credit actually jata hai mere husband ko because concept unka hai main ek female hone ke baavajood us tarike se maine nahi socha ki ha is subject pe mujhe film banana he has given me that idea ki because he सीन में ऑल टाइम इन हर मंथ में मतलब मुझे वो उसी कंडीशन में देखते हैं सो क्रेडिट गोस टू हिम डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली आपने नाम भी 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 नाम Okay. Sunai aa raha hai sir? Sunai aa raha hai sir? Ha ha. Ya ya. Okay. Okay. First of all, thank you to Mr. Paul. Thank you to Mr. Paul. Thank you to Mr. Paul. 
ये अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली आई स्टार्ट टाइटल ऑफ द फिल्म अगर आवाज नहीं आ रही आपकी आवाज इको हो रही है हाँ एक बार हाँ, इको हो रही है फिर से स्टार्ट कीजिए या एक मिनट सर अभी ठीक है हाँ अभी ठीक है जी तो मैं सबसे पहले स्टार्ट करूंगा टाइटल के साथ जुमला जो मूवी का टाइटल दिया है तो सिंपली पहले अगर देखा जाए तो किस्सा किस्सा मतलब आपकी स्टोरी वाक्य मतलब एक इंसिडेंट और जुमला मतलब एक छोटी सी कही हुई बात जो आप पूरा समराइज कर देती है चीजों तो इट इज लाइक इन दिस पैंडेमिक सिचुएशन जो सारी चीजें हो रही है एज एन इंडिविजुअल जो मैं फेस कर तो वो सारी चीजें मैंने लिखने की कोशिश की एक लाइफ का जो जर्नी था जहां से मैं देखते आ रहा हूँ सीखते आ रहा हूँ कि कुछ करना है स्टेप बाय स्टेप आगे बढ़ना है टारगेट कंप्लीट करना है एंड दिस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वॉज वॉज डैम श्योर अबाउट कि सब कुछ कर दूं फिर अचानक से ऐसा सब कुछ होता है कि जो एक्सपेक्ट भी नहीं किया था वर्ल्ड हैज सीन वर्ल्ड वॉर वन वर्ल्ड वॉर टू फिर उसके बाद ये सिचुएशन जहां पे सारी दुनिया बोल जहां पे आपके पास इनकम के सोर्सेस नहीं जहां आप एक चीज ऑलरेडी प्लान कर चुके हो इतने दिन के बाद और अचानक से कुछ कि सब कुछ अनप्लान हो मतलब सब कुछ फेल हो फिर ये सारी चीजों एक पूरे फॉर्म में पिरोना उसके बाद में अपना कुछ फ्रस्ट्रेशन निकालना अब ये बात अच्छी थी जब आपने कोई अपॉर्चुनिटी दी इसमें हम कुछ ना कुछ करते रहे और इस चीजों में बिजी रखते रहे अदरवाइज वही फ्रस्ट्रेशन और वही बिंज वॉचिंग करते हम शायद क्या करते क्या पता नहीं तो ये सारी चीजें करते करते मैंने हर चीज को सिस्टमेटिक वे में उसमें कोशिश की कि फाइनली Oh, the voice is gone. The video is also gone. Network. Network से नहीं लड़ सकते हम लोग आप कोरोना से लड़ सकते हैं नेटवर्क से नहीं <laughs> so, पता नहीं इसको कितना टाइम लगेगा वापिस आने में लेट्स वेट फॉर लाइक थर्टी सेकेंड्स अगर वो तीस सेकेंड में आ जाते हैं वापस तो हम उनके साथ कंटिन्यू करेंगे वरना वी हैव स्वानंद ओके सो ही इज बैक सागर हाँ सो आई वॉज एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट तो बेटर वे मैंने वो जो जिस तरह से स्टोरी लिखी हुई है तो यू नेवर गो टू द कंक्लूजन डायरेक्टली आपके पास एक थॉट प्रोसेस हो सोचते जाते हैं और धीरे धीरे आपको सिचुएशन लीड करती है कि आप कुछ ऐसा एक्ट करें जो कि आपके लिए कंक्लूसिव हो जो आपकी लाइफ डिसाइड कर देता है या फिर आपका पार्ट डिसाइड कर इन द सेम मैनर मैं चाय बना रहा हूँ ठीक है धीरे धीरे मैं वो सारी चीजें देखता हूँ एक एक थॉट मेरे अंदर आता है और भाई करते करते फिर चाय के साथ सपने एक्सपीरियंस और फाइनली ये सारी चीजें कि अब मैं क्या करूँ अब तो मैं अकेला बैठा और कोई आगे रास्ता नहीं तो मुझे क्या करना चाहिए सोल्यूशन सो हियर आई हैव क्वेश्चन हियर सागर कि आपने को नाम से कैसे रिलेट करा है वाई डिड यू चूज विद जुमला एक्चुअली सर लास्ट में एक चीज मैंने लिखी हुई है जो पेपर पे लिखता हूँ कि कुछ तो वेस्ट होना है और इट इज लाइक फायर क्रैक्टर In the end, it is going to uh, explode and खत्म होने वाला है सब कुछ आप भी वैसे ही हो तो आपके सपने आपके रिलेशन ये सब कुछ चीजें मायने क्या रखती है आप चले जाओ शांति से दो लोग रोटी खाओ उसको पर आप अगर अपने सपनों के पीछे चलने लगे तो उसको फॉलो कैसे करोगे खुद को कन्विंस कैसे करोगे तो मेरा हमेशा से ये है कि अगर आपने सपना देखा हुआ है आपका लाइफ एंड डेथ के बीच में का एक सिचुएशन है तो मेक दिस जर्नी ब्यूटीफुल उसको और बड़ा बना इंस्टेड ऑफ जस्ट स्पेंडिंग इट फॉर टाइम बिंग और जस्ट जीना है इसलिए 
तो ये सारी चीजों के लिए मैंने वो लिखा हुआ है कि अगर पटाखे की किस्मत नहीं ली तो क्यों ना वो जोर सारी दुनिया को रोशन कर our focus to a very good saying or a very good philosophy in life that the life is actually spent between two moments he right. have ek do moment ke beech ka jo samay right. hota hai that is the life that is life. and how you right. beautifully you can enjoy and live that moment that is the beauty of life even in this industry you all are from this industry hum hamesha bhag rahe hote hain ki hame stardom chahiye hame ऑस्कर हिट फिल्म बना लेनी है हमें एक कमाल की स्क्रिप्ट लिख लेनी है तो वो तो हमारा एक फाइनल आउटकम होता है गोल होता है लेकिन ये जो जर्नी होती है उसको हम कई बार नजरअंदाज कर देते हैं तो अभी इस लॉकडाउन में इनफैक्ट हमें टाइम भी दिया है कि इस जर्नी के बारे में सोचें इसके बारे में सोचे अपने बारे में सोचे हम अपनी दौड़ के बारे में सोचे सो या Yeah, what is actually success is it is just a byproduct of your hard work. आप ऐसा एक्सपेक्ट नहीं कर सकते कि आपको सक्सेस मिल ही जाए आपको काम करते रहना करते रहना एंड समे इट विल नजर में है ना आप yeah. अपनी नजर में अपने चाहने वालों की नजर में आउटर वर्ल्ड की नजर में या और भी बड़ा आउटर सर्किल की नजर में तो सक्सेस का जो पैमाना होता है ना वो भी बदलता रहता है हमेशा सो डिपेंड्स कि आपको कौन से सक्सेस से सेटिस्फेक्शन मिल रहा है और कौन से सक्सेस से नहीं मिल रहा है सो डेफिनेटली ड्यूरिंग दिस लॉकडाउन आपका इंट्रोस्पेक्शन आई एम श्योर सबका बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ गया होगा सबने जिंदगी को एक नए तरीके से देखना समझना शुरू किया है बहुत सारे लोगों से मेरी इंटरेक्शन हुई इस चीज को लेकर के तो सबके परस्पेक्टिव बहुत सारे चेंज भी हुए हैं बहुत सारे लोगों को ठीक है विद दैट थॉट अगर किसी का कोई सवाल है या फीडबैक है तो दैट कैन शेयर या सुमरिमा फिल्म वाज व्हाट हुक मी टू योर फिल्म वाज गेटिंग द आर्टिस्ट पर्सपेक्टिव लाइक आपका एक ऐसा फिल्म था जो आर्टिस्ट के माइंड के थ्रू था एंड द डिलेमा ऑफ एन आर्टिस्ट यू नो कि पैशन तो है बट पैशन का क्या करना है पैशन से क्या होगा कहां पहुंचेंगे कि क्या क्या सो सो दैट वाज वेरी नाइस यू नो एंड व्हाट यू सेड वाज you know the the motions that you show on chayo balan how the mind is a monkey and 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 all these thoughts keep on going so i really liked you shifting the space from here to the up window se bahar dekh rahe ho kabhi chayo bal rahe ho but constantly these thoughts are going on in your head and i had wrote it in the message also in the group ki i am so happy that you gave the ending that it deserved which is like aapko support karna hai apne talents ka so all the best that is a very positive message I had also muted myself because generally, if you don't move mute, then there is a lot of noise. So, okay, I was just saying that. Is there anybody wants to make a comment or a feedback or question? Or if there is nothing, then we can move ahead. Actually, question is asked. So, because this was my first film. Okay. And, ah, uh, ji. So, or selfie stick. Wow. I shot it. I have. I was just studying camera angles and everything. कि क्या बेटर हो सकता है इसमें एंड आफ्टर दैट तो ये सारा कुछ मैंने किया है और आई गेस अगर आप लोगों से क्वेश्चन आए तो मेरे लिए और ज्यादा डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली तो अगर आपके दिमाग सॉरी Yeah, yeah. Carry on, Sunni. So I, I actually noticed how technically our camera angles may shift focus. Ata hai. Like you know, ab jab wo chuban ki baat kar rahe ho, then you cut to the cactus, and then there's a shift focus, and it goes to you. So I could see how technically you were enjoying as well. So remarkable. Thanks. Okay. Anything more to be added on? Okay, so let's move on to the next director now. Okay, let's move to Swanand. Swanand, yeah, your voice is clear. Uh, hi, Shamsur. Hi, everyone. Uh, mostly, thank you to select my film. I sent it at very last moment. Still is there. 
and uh, about me i'm a student of bmm bachelor's in mass media it's been a year to my graduation since then i have assisted in a few films and tried to know cinema more still trying to do that so when lockdown happened so basically i was at home only like it was not any busy schedule for me or i wasn't employed or anything so jab lockdown hua everyone came into the phase where i was so for the first month it was very going up there were ups and downs you know and i felt very creative like all those creative juices were flowing i was writing good things and you know sad things were also happening like this this whole pandemic and everything but then after a month or so there came a state of nothingness you know there there was some emptiness or something and i have a habit of just going around i can't sit at home like every day no so i take photos also a lot so being at home for a month it happened ki aise main ek hi cheeze dekh raha hu does bahut se baar and i'm framing those things in my mind i'm framing those actions in my mind so then i did a, a online film making workshop and then we had some actuality exercise some observation exercise there i observed uh, actions and uh, things going at in my own house ya fir terrace pe kuch ho raha hai bahar kuch ho raha hai mai bread lene ja raha hu and through those things this happened and i what i started to do is just started to shoot these things as it is sometimes uh, the actors being aware of the camera and sometimes not also so yeah that's how it started and i started rolling my camera i shot a lot like i've just used 14 shots in the film but i had shot around 60 58 to 60 shots and then why doing the edit cut cut ke from like past 20 25 days i'm working on it and i'm still trying to make the sound better which is i think a uh, sound i uh, regarding the sound i think the sound i think should speak for the silence like silence should justify the sound more in the film and the film i think is about that only you know emptiness and nothingness and uh, the peaks of your mind you know how it just goes very happy and then it just becomes sad and then you're just uh, star- staring at something and you don't know what it is and uh, well, yeah sometimes you also question your privilege a lot no like uh, there's so much happening but you're very happy at your home so you don't feel very comfortable with it also so yeah all yeah. this mix up of thoughts i don't think i can speak about everything in like 10 minutes but all this mix up of thoughts and then this emptiness just had me do it had me express it and i think uh, first i wrote the poetry and then uh, juxtaposed the thing yeah do you have any questions please do ask so yeah that was uh, in fact uh, your film appealed a lot because it has very beautiful like long shots and empty yeah. shots and because that portrays the current situation because mm-hmm. we are sitting idle for the lo- longest time we are lying like idle for the longest time everybody is at a still if we go out at the road like now lockdown is open but like just yeah. imagine like 10 15 days back you go there will be nothing like i saw your film and then there was like just a cow passing or like something like that so that was the actual reality and you have created it also very nicely very slow very subtle so i i like the that part of it yeah thank you thank you you also from uh, this uh, school you said uh, mentioned in that film uh, which one is uh, that aurobindo aurobindo okay so yeah, you're doing so your mm from film. there no no they conducted a seven day workshop on filmmaking okay okay in that there was a exercise so you mm-hmm. have to actually make a film for yourself okay. that workshop online it was during lockdown only okay 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 yeah yeah so in that i had made the film mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. so uh, okay Uh, there is another question from my side that when you make this kind of a film where there are minimal of the words more of the visuals and very static shots and very block shots which is not the con- very contemporary thing like coming out from a guy like you who is just doing his bachelor's right not finished 
so how do you see like how do you like relate it like what was the idea like it was the initial idea or you thought of something and then you stuck to it or what in give you the impulse to choose this medium this genre particularly this medium as in film you are saying or... no no not about the film this like the the way your narrative the form feels, of like yeah the form of the film yeah. basically i write poetry also mm-hmm. so first i there were two separate things like i said i was observing a lot of these actions happening mm-hmm. like in my house only and talking to people and how, how like anxiety was getting a very normal subject mm-hmm. everyone never used to care about mental health just started talking about anxiety and now was relating these worldwide or also one thing no that there was a image media was telling like media really dikha raha tha ki gharon mein kya ho raha hai logo ke exactly ek global situation dikh rahi hai ek government ke eyes se hum sab kuch dekh rahe hain par ek ghar mein kya ho raha hai wo nahi dikha raha tha wo ek inspiration tha aur visually jaise chalu kiya wo to yahi tha ki i just took some frames you know i just shot two or three of frames and then i i was just constantly looking at it then i thought i would do more of these i would do more of these and try to put it in one thing maybe mm-hmm. go andar se bahar jaunga ya bahar se andar ka scene dikhaunga aisa kuch so then i ended up i established with some outside space which is also very like like the dukan jo khol raha hai wo bakery mein wo bhi aisa normally nahi khol raha hai so usually he is very chill with opening the bakery तो ही वाज आल्सो वेरी मतलब सब डरे हुए थे तो यही मैंने एक दो शॉट्स लिए और फिर वो इमोशन जब एक्चुअली स्ट्राइक कर रहा था वो ऑब्जर्व कर कर के वही वही शॉट तो देन आई स्टार्टेड एडिंग मोर शॉट्स टू इट एंड देन फॉर्मड अन अदर और मैंने लिखा भी है लाइक एवरी व्हाट एवरी शॉट मींस सो राइटिंग एंड एडिटिंग वाज वेरी पैरेलल प्रोसेस या दैट वाज अ गुड कॉम्बिनेशन इन फैक्ट आई लव द शॉट्स आल्सो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट शॉट्स या वेरी गुड वेरी वेल डन किसी के और फीडबैक या एनी सजेशन अरे प्लीज लेट मी स्पीक आई हैव बीन आई एम स्पीकिंग माय माइंड सुमड़ी 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 में बोल देना बोलो अरे कुछ सुमड़ी में नहीं खुले आम बोल रही हूं आई लव दिस फिल्म माय माइंड वाज ब्लोन अवे व्हेन आई सॉ इट एंड देन व्हेन आई व्हेन आई स्पोक टू स्वानंद बिकॉज़ आई वाज गोइंग क्रेजी क्रेजी स्वानंद किधर है भाई ये स्वानंद की ग्रुप चैट में नहीं है so i stopped him i found him i i sent him a mail and we connected and i can't believe it's the work of such a young guy because so much wisdom so much poetry oozing out and like such observations aapke stills mein ho ya silence mein ho ya i don't know man like everything about the film is pure genius pure genius work hats off to you i can write a whole thesis on it so i don't want to bore you guys but remarkable like poetry sun ke to main sidha gulzar sahab ki yaad aa gayi and har ek shots all of them are photographic shots and 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 the way you've captured the lethargy the ennui of life and aapke grandmom and your mom and the lightings ah everything man pa excellence स्टैंडिंगी <laughs> Before that, let's finish with two more people who are here. Pratya, are you still here? I am here. Can, can you guys hear? Me? I cannot see you, but I can hear you. So, agar okay, aap... I can see you. Okay, you can see me. Ha. Abhi, ठीक है. Can you guys? Aap... You you guys can't see me? No, no. Video नहीं आ रहा है. आपका सिर्फ audio अभी सुनाई पड़ रहा है. Okay. Pratya is directing his film with us. The Invisible One. Uh-huh. बैंगलोर <laughs> and uh, i have i have been in filmmaking for the last 3 and 1/2 years uh, 
Uh, I'm also a theater director uh, based out of Bangalore. And Slapped happened uh, during the peak of lockdown. I think uh, we started in end of April. Uh, and that was a time of real grim because uh, the scenario was getting horrible. The cases in India were increasing. It's still increasing. Um, and the entire country was in lockdown. And, uh, you know, as artists, uh, uh, I, I was in quite of a, be- a bit of a low situation because I was supposed to come to Mumbai if would have, uh, to do two projects there. It would have been my first two projects in Mumbai. And everything got, uh, got postponed. And uh, then suddenly I get a call from this guy. Uh, so he's uh, the scriptwriter of Slapped. Uh, he's based out of Singapore. And uh, so he's a prolific uh, scre- uh, screenwriter. Uh, and uh, he's, uh, he's an NRI living in Singapore, Tanuj Koshla. And uh, he uh, calls and says, you know, you know what? There's this film. Why don't you do it? I said, are you kidding me? My entire team is scattered all over, uh, uh, all over India. Uh, they are in their hometowns. How will I do a film? Uh, and then uh, he said, why don't you see the script and then you tell me. So when he sent the script to me and it immediately resonated inside my head because uh, I've been hearing so many cases about uh, domestic abuse uh, during lockdown, incompatible partners living together. And it ki- kind of, uh, you know, the shit is uh, hitting the fan kind of a situation. So uh, it totally resonated with me and I was like, I have to do this script somehow. So I called out the, uh, called up the cinematographer. So I'm part of this production house, Red Poker Productions. So we have an in-house cinematographer there. And uh, I called up the uh, cinematographer who is in Trivandrum. He's still there. And I said, you know, there's a script and, you know, I want you to go through it. So he also liked the script. And uh, so we were like, now what? So he said, let's do it digitally. I said, okay, fine. Let's, uh, let's see something new to me. So finally, uh, so because I'm part of this production house in Bangalore, we have a repository of different actors and their auditions that we have taken over the years. So I went through the old audition tapes and found an actress who would uh, kind of suit the role. And I called her up and, uh, and the first question was, do you have a camera? And do you have an understanding about camera? And the response that she that she gave was like honey to my ears because uh, she said uh, she's a photographer and she had done photography assignments before. I'm like, okay, fine, I'm sorted. She would know how to focus. She would know how to frame. So there it started. So we initially wanted to shoot it in a single day. Uh, but then we realized that, uh, you know, the actor had to come in front of the camera, get out of character, go and see the footage, send the footage to, to us, we are going to okay the footage and then she is going to go, go back in character and do it. So we realized it's not going to happen. So what we did on the first day, nine hours straight, was we we put the uh, we put the tripods like the uh, where and and the actor was also alone in her house. She didn't. This is like a truly contactless film in a way because uh, she uh, she was alone in her house. She just had the tripod and camera. So we set up. Uh, so we made a drawing of the house so we just told her to send us the pictures so we made a drawing of the house told her which are the areas where the camera will be set up and she put a tape you know uh, what is the tape called the sham that you put on uh, stage uh, what is that called uh, for position there is that uh, that's red marking tape fluorescent yeah, tape. Marking fluorescent. Tape. Uh-huh. Yeah, so she had one. So we put those tapes there and so that we know where the tripod uh, arms would be, uh, legs would be. And then we did the entire rehearsal with uh, with the camera on. And then we go, go, went through the footage and found out that was okay. And the next day, it took us nine hours to shoot the entire thing. The biggest challenge was that, you know, uh, she had to go in front, as I was saying, she had to go in, in front give a brilliant take, come and see the footage and it is out of focus. So, and you have to do it again. So, so yeah, so, but it was a great, great, great learning experience. And I'm happy uh, that the film is here and the film is kind of doing pretty well. So we just came to know day for yesterday that uh, it is in, uh, it is going into San Diego in California and it will be screened there uh, in, uh, in San Diego. So, so yeah. <laughs> That's about the, you know, the making of the film. It was very, very interesting process to be in a Zoom call for 18 hours and do this entire thing.
so that's an incredible journey and also a new learning that we all had during this lockdown period and a new kind of an experience yeah. that you can virtually also <laughs> direct a film so it has been happening yeah, fact, because even uh, in uh, bombay a lot of projects people have been doing where uh, the actor the director yeah, yeah because Sham, if you see uh, once we finished this film i went on to direct uh, digitally uh, chitrangada which is a theater uh, digitalized theater which had a fantastic response uh, right after that so i was so confident after doing this film that i will be able to take up a digital theater project which is kind of the trend right now in the next uh, next 6 7 months because the theaters are closed and it had a fantastic response we had like almost uh, um almost 10000 views in the first few days and uh, like people were seeing a digitalized version of theater being played so so yeah it's a great learning that that will always remain with us and you know hopefully we can take it forward and make it better so now the house is open if anybody wants to oh somebody ma <laughs> okay go go this my god it's it's just so fascinating to learn behind the scenes when you were speaking it it was like i am looking at the behind of behind the scenes of you know how 1971 was filmed like pura markings and then going back and <laughs> shooting the camera and the actress my god i mean it's so difficult to perform anyway and imagine her performing and then going and then technically rehearsing again and then doing the camera and then and the way she is performed the whole film is about her performance man the the, the way she is shouting like ah, ah, ah. it's so real i mean she 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 is the main film and i can't believe she actually was a filmmaker too you know because it was your voice directing her but she actually did all the work by herself so you are yes. the new next generation torch bearer i mean yes you have i think not officially inaugurated the virtually directing platform so congratulations to you thank you thank you thank you so much and and, and seriously that actress is brilliant brilliant hats off to her what a what a woman No, I was just saying that anybody else wants to add to it. See, you said wanted to ask something. No, no. Actually, uh, you were muted, so we couldn't hear. So I was okay. telling you. Okay. No, no. I also, in the meantime, I also generally mute myself. Yeah. So okay. And I mute somebody also very immediately yeah. as soon as he finishes. Just wanted to add, like it was the opening film of the festival, and I loved the opening shot of her. The the camera is down and she's running. Mm-hmm. I I loved that shot. What is that like? It's it reminded me of that film, yeah, like Requiem for a Dream. Mm-hmm. You know, the camera down and she's running, and then she, and then bam, the door sh- shuts, and then the whole domestic violence thing. Very smart, very ingenious. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Yeah. I had a question to Pratya. So Pratya, there is a okay. very slight suggestion towards the end in the film that it doesn't clarify actually in the synopsis also what you have sent. Sham, I I am not able to hear your voice. Okay, can you hear me now? Hello. I am not able to hear your voice. So nobody can hear me, or only you can not hear me. See, I am audible. They are doing thumbs up to me. So only you cannot hear me. So maybe there is some network issue. Uh, can you hear me now? Hello, 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 Pratya. Pratya, hello. You can't hear. You still can't hear. Okay, okay. So okay, my question was that uh, there was a slight hint towards the end of the film. that whether the girl is into a full fledged lesbian relationship or not Ooh, so so that your film actually leaves okay so i can write a comment here
Okay. So, okay, I got my answers that, okay, she actually was. Because in the synopsis that you had sent, it didn't mention that. But the film, like watching the film, it says. <laughs> we can't hear you. Not audible. Not audible, Pratya. Yeah, okay, your network might be poor. Okay, so, but if anybody wants to comment or raise any further question or any feedback particularly, uh, we can still have that. So, uh, on, yeah, Sumdima, you want to go? I'll go up here. No, no, please, I keep going, so you go. <laughs> no, I just wanted to tell Pratya that hope he's uh, hearing me out uh, loud and clear. I liked the twist to what Shamji just now asked about she was actually or not. So, uh, we, we see a film as you know, but obvious and expected climax, but the twist in the last, uh, I liked that. Why was the reason behind that? And uh, in today's scenario, also there are cases uh, where uh, uh, everybody sees only one part uh, of the film or the story, but the other part of the story or the reason is something else. All right, yeah. So I think Pratya can uh, hear us, but probably we cannot listen to him. But that's okay. We listen to his film. That is more important. <laughs> okay, so now we have another person who is not seen now. Uh, okay, uh, who is there? Who is there? Okay, admin, admin. So, uh, no, 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 I have. So, yeah, your name reflects admin. You are Shubham or you are Mohan? Mohan, sir. Mohan. Mohan, Mohan. Okay. Yeah. So, Mohan, yeah, introduce your film, introduce yourself and tell us about the process. Okay. Okay. Can I go ahead, sir? Can I go ahead, sir? First of all, I would like to First thank you like for giving this opportunity to talk to you and uh, 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 Starting with my uh, first. Can you hear me, sir? Am I audible? Can you hear me, sir? Am I audible? Yes, yes. Sir, I can't hear you, sir. I was saying that your voice was doubling. So it was echoing actually. So try to speak slower. You know? So even if it doubles, we can still make it. Yeah, sense of Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sir. Before starting about my films, I want to thank you and Heman sir for conducting this festival and giving this chance to speak to you all. And uh, first of all, uh, coming back to this uh, new normal, the, the name of the movie. The, initially, the idea came by looking at my brother who is into sales. He was a banker before, but uh, he, he shifted to the sales department for working for a finance company. So I could see him every day. I mean, like the way the things have been going through him, the way he was dealing with the customers and the clients, and uh, the amount of the calls he was getting from his friends also, this colleague also, complaining about the current situation, what is exactly happening, what they're going through. So that's the thing that made me to do something, but I was not sure about writing the script on this. I want, I want to do something else apart from this thing but somewhere i felt that i should i should uh, uh, make a movie on this by looking at my brother i mean like what he was going through and now uh, the amount of the things the people have been telling us ki matlab sales karne se kya problems ho rahi hai matlab client ki sir uh, uh, jawab de rahe kya ho raha hai uske saath mein aur uh, work from home for him and uh, seeing other people was not easy for the sales people so that's the thing that clicked me and I thought of, I came up with the idea, but he, he had this one thing, he wanted to keep this long hair and beard till the lockdown continues. He wanted to keep that by looking at his uh, computer only. The other time he used to have this clean shave and a clean look, uh, navy cut look. So I told him like, you know, I was thinking to make one short film, can you help me with this? Now I said, what? But I'm writing some script about the, this thing, the current situation in the market and all. So I just want to like, I want the two transitions happening and the one is a clean look and the other one is a, uh, this is the current look that you have right now. And I said like, okay, let, let's see, I mean like I can help you, or there shouldn't be any problem. 
that's how i just thought of and came up with the idea in a short this song and it took me around uh, 10 days to shoot this the reason for taking the 10 days was, was working from home so i have to like uh, take a break in between and he's uh, attend to his calls his conference meetings and everything and getting back to the shoot so it went on for that uh, eight to 10 days for the shoot and post that it took uh, six days to complete edit and everything so that's how i came up with the idea I'm like uh, this is a good thing i mean like if i could showcase i mean like i was doing the research also apart from the this thing i was doing the research ki how many people are losing their jobs what exactly the happening with them i mean like uh, the ratio i was counting so i had like few articles with me i mean like i was researching everything that then i came up with this idea and then i thought i should make this film on this thing, particular topic that's how i came up with so very uh nicely made and nicely put together film and it also as you said that you took time to make it like it took around 10 days to shoot it it shows also right. because it shows a lot of research it shows the actual conversation that will be happening because i also got i mean interacted with a lot of people who were into different kind of jobs and different kind of uh things and they were like at the verge of like being retrenched or being like kicked out of the job and that is still happening because every organization is now cutting down a lot of bpos a lot of call centers in mumbai in pune in bangalore they are all shutting offices since they are shutting offices they are also like a lot of employees they have given their laptops and send it like work from home and they have also retrenched that okay we do not have maybe that much amount of like uh, capacity so they are reducing the capacities also because the demand is definitely going to be lesser yeah you want to say something Yeah, the one thing, sir, he is a non-actor. He got nothing to do with films. He just loves the films. That's a different part. But he's a non-actor. But uh, the, the way he was uh, portraying him on the movie, like the uh, on the visuals, I told him to just act the way he used to do in the during when he used to work in the bank. Mm-hmm. How the client used to treat him, how the people used to treat him. Mm-hmm. Just continue the same thing right now. I just I'll take off from there. Mm-hmm. So I think he. is a one part uh, my brother is a major part who played a big role in this mm-hmm. i mean like he was the one who inspired me but like he was the one who told me about the stories he said about himself also my brother i think i might lose the job because the conditions are really bad right now mm-hmm. i mean like the sense of not ha- not happening mm-hmm. but he is after me he is just keep on asking me ke wala bhai kya chal raha hai tera kuch hoga ki nahi ho raha mm-hmm. so these are the actual thing that been happening with him Mm-hmm. Apart from with him, I had a few friends and his friends were telling us every day that मतलब भाई लग गए भाई हम लोग कुछ नहीं हो पा रहे मतलब ऐसा लग रहा है जॉब्स जा रहा है भी मतलब that the situation I was seeing him and my friends also mm-hmm. so that's how I got this thought up like I should I should make a movie on this and I came up with this idea sir so definitely like some things worked in your favor that you got the character ready made and you got all the motivations of the characters also ready made the scenario already ready made you can say that and, sir yes yeah. sir. and that worked for the film actually so we did not notice that he is a non actor definitely not because he portrayed he got not acting at all sir yeah yeah so basically as you said that uh, just be normal and that is his routine yeah. thing and it was very intelligently shot out so thank you sir we do not get to notice that he is not a non he is not an actor yeah and one more thing sir on the 18th june i saw your post saying that ki super 250 250 entries mm-hmm. Uh, has been collected for the quarantine international film festival that was the day when i decided to like i have to send this my film to this festival no matter what if a selector if i get rejected but i just like let me see because this is my first film mm-hmm, mm-hmm. this is my first film so i wanted like i was uh, hoping i'm like i wanted to sell this to festival trading cost so, so in so fact I, I, I remember your entry and even swanan's entry so these were the late entries Yes, sir. And they still made to the festival because the jury is really like that. Those films. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. The music didn't happen till that time, so I was behind the music to happen. And then once it was done, it was too late. But still, I sent send the movie to the festival. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Definitely. So, I guess I uh, realized at the end moment that I didn't put subtitles. Like I had typed the subtitles, I had not set the subtitles. Mm-hmm. All right, that's not a problem. You can always uh, create a subtitle version also, and can send us to us also to update it, because the films are going oh, to stay. And uh, again, so we have. I think everybody has talked about their film. Shri has already talked about his film yesterday, and that, somebody you have talked about your film, right? You want to say something again? I want to 
I want to talk about his film, the okay, new normal. Okay. Yes, the new normal. So the I was yeah, expecting yeah. this. The house is open. Yeah. Yes. 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 Thank you so, so much. I want, I want to touch on three things on your film. I love the fast edits in the film. The way it opens, those fast cuts. That was really brilliant. Second of all, uh, I love the transition that happens. Like you know, pehle it's all like nice flood of light and everything is blue and bright, and then suddenly that whole transition where we see pura dadi me and then then you dim the lights also. So that was also right. aesthetically very very beautiful. And third, uh, it, it it hit me because I'm one of those who cut these calls. You know, like hello madam, I'm your ye, ye. and I'm like no, 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 I'm not doing it. It's like you know, so it was. so refreshing and at the same time heartening to see the other side of the person who's actually making those calls which made me kind of feel guilty also so i'm going to be more compassionate towards them so yeah i mean uh, it's good that you were so observ- observational about your brother's feelings and what was going around and you put together a beautiful film which works thank you so much it's an honor thank you so much nicely summed up somebody <laughs> Okay. Any other person wants to comment or ask any question? And in fact, I would also like to add here, but that you also used a very nice way of like doing away with the weird and without weird looks. So very intelligently you yeah. used that so also in the film. That's that's yeah. the well, that's yeah. the only point when I click with this idea of transition thing. I mean, if I'm yeah. showing something. How should I show it? I mean, like just to make it more creative. I yeah. told him he doesn't want to share it off. He told me clearly that I want to keep this look till the lockdown continues. I mean, like the day the the day they lift the lockdown, I'm going to show this look to everyone, saying that Kishi, it's been four months how I'm looking right now. He doesn't want to do that. But still, I said to my brother, please, yar, make sure. अभी के लिए तो कर दे पता नहीं बाद में छोड़ देना पता नहीं. He for me, he did that. So he has to lose that look also, which he wanted to carry on till uh, till the lockdown. Mm-hmm. But thanks to him again. That is dedication. Yeah, I'm really impressed. Like, you have made such a nice film. Go, see. Very, very, very good. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Any more comments or feedback for him, or any questions? Okay. So, किसी के कोई सवाल नहीं है. So, I'll move further. With the thing, so this brings to the end of the festival because we have done two directors meet, and uh, we also have done one master class. Now I have a few announcements to make. So the announcement is that the films will be uh, till the 30th of June. So the votings would be on till 30th of June. and we will get the final jury markings also by the end of today and tomorrow morning so whoever so as we had promised that we will be giving three awards in the film segment and also one popular award one popular award means like whoever scores the most on the views likes comments on the youtube channel so every film is doing fine some films are doing really well like for example new normal has taken a big lead <laughs> if you can see his views and all he has already taken a very big lead you want to say something yes Mohan? sir i want to yeah yeah tell me the only reason for the leads are like i have been i have like i told my friends i mean like they were very curious to want to see the movie Mm-hmm. And what they did was tremendous job. I I didn't expect it is being frank. I mean, like I just told them to make it viral as as much as possible. Bhai, my first picture is. Those kids can do something. Do the work now. Right. And right. like what they did was tremendous. I I was not expecting this much being frank. I mean, like, first yeah, film, yeah. first selection, and this much views and everything. It's like completely achievement for me. So we were also surprised that suddenly to see more than two thousand five hundred views on your film. It has touched right. almost three thousand now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So. Okay, so now the time is up. You all like promote your films, and not only the film, the whole festival. Send it. Send the links to the people to like, comment, and uh, subscribe and sa- share with the people, so that more and more people can see. We have very meticulously chosen like 18 films out of the lot, and every film has a different kind of a feel. So that is why we try to put together films with different kinds of feel, and. Uh, we will be coming up with the results on 1st of july and on the 1st of july uh, one of our advisory board member ashok lal ji has agreed 
to give us a master class also ashok lal ji is a celebrated writer and he is also a director he is a poet and he is a playwright bahut sare plays likhe unhone bahut sari filme likhi hai unhone so he will be there so that session will be at 5:30 in the evening and after that session we will be also announcing the results right so i'll make a separate this kind of a window on webex or zoom uh, for a master class and then there will be a award ceremony online award ceremony so i won't be giving you the mannequin or anything it will be just the verbal award and later on we'll be giving you the certificates and some vouchers also which is redeemable yeah okay so okay anybody wants to say anything somebody or I, I, yeah i'm just i'm just in awe that i think so many of us have made our first film mine also you can say it was a first film and uh, you know itna lamba journey sabka apna apna journey raha hai and then kaise hum log lockdown mein looking past all the difficulties we've made our dreams come true with our first film and let this not be the end winner loser koi nahi hai yaar like we've reached here and such remarkable talent we have we should cherish them and banate raho banate raho banate raho yaar definitely, yeah, lockdown definitely definitely very well summed up by sundi that yes this is definitely there are no winners and there are no, no, no losers actually it is all a matter of perspective every film is a winner for me every film made with like honest effort is a good effort and aage bhi hum log because a lot of people have asked for like a similar kind of another festival so we are working on like on a new theme very soon will be coming out with that also so that you can and we have also got one or two queries about like showcasing these films so uh, i will so the in fact the idea is that out of these 18 film because 18 is a big number many a times what happens is a lot of film festivals or a lot of film seminars what happens so they choose like first seven films or 10 films so as per the jury's rating i will pick and choose around 7 to 10 films and i'll make a bouquet and we will be promoting those films at those venues also so you get more likes more views more popularity also and apart from that we have also are coming up with more plans to create films based on this platform because we started this studio rolex pro studio also with the intent of like creating and making people together and giving the talents its due uh so we are in fact coming up with our first feature film very soon in about 2 months time yes and uh, definitely we would like you all to be associated in some of the other manner and collaborate with us and if you have any ideas you would like to discuss with us you want to develop with us or you want to collaborate and make with us you are all welcome right so let's be like a family together yes yes i just want to add sorry i just want to add here your... yeah sorry yeah so sorry i'm talking i'm talking so much but yeah. i just want to add here like uh, the 18 people in this whole gang and of course mr sham and mr heman i think we've become a family now because what we've done is remarkable because these are just not films you know these are just not any other films these are films made from the heart and uh, getting across all obstacles so, so let us be a family let us support each other it's not ki mera film jeeta and then ye mera film screen nahi hua mera film mein views nahi aaya it's not like that now that we've come together as a family let's support each other's work promote each other's work be there for each other in whatever we can because the world is suffering and so are artists so we need to stand up and do whatever possible for each other okay of course so that is why i have made the whatsapp group also i will also make a separate facebook group of quiff people so that you all can share your things whatever you are doing ideas and apart from that whenever this lockdown finally finishes so you all are welcome to come to our studio and we can have a formal get together also here in the studio right now i'm sitting at my studio in andheri west Yeah, so we have a studio in Andheri West. You all are welcome oh. to come here, whosoever is in Mumbai, and uh, we can sit. We'll do a potluck. What? What? We'll do a we'll do we'll do a potluck. 
I yes, would bring momos. Oh, yes, of yes, course. Of something course. Of Not only momos, some more Nepali dishes. Damji, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're so close that right away I can, you know, in half an hour see you. Definitely. So, most probably next week or next to next week, let's plan a get together together, right? When people are more uh, yeah. comfortable coming out and meeting. Yeah. Of course. So, yeah, with this, uh, we come to the end of this session. All best to all of you. Stay in touch and keep promoting your films and keep promoting the festival also. It was a pleasure to have you on board. It was a pleasure to receive your films and keep making good films, keep inspiring us to be together. Thank you. Yeah.